here, and hello and welcome to part number 24 of my Let's Play of Planet Zoo. Okay guys, so, I did a little bit off camera again, just because I like doing the maintenance and stuff that's kind of boring to watch off camera. Okay, Pearl, you, you need to stop kissing me, baby. Yes, I love you too, kitty cat. Ah, quit chewing my finger! Stop it! Girl, go play. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyway, though, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be finishing off the area left of the entrance. And then we are going to be working on a new area, which I have um, made a work zone for. And that new area is going to have the great apes and the mandrills. And that area is going to be right about where I'm mousing over right now. All the stuff over here, we're going to be expanding out northward. At least I think that's north, I'm not really sure. Okay, Pearl, you need to stop. Go away. Shoo! Shoo, fuzzball! <laughs> okay. And you guys might be wondering why I have so few conservation credits left. Well, you see, well, some of the peafowl are sick. Also, an albino lion cub was born. Look at this. We have an albino lion. I don't know how to feel about this other than, oh my god, he's adorable, because it is a he. His name is Chisulu. Chisulo. Chisulo. Yes, Chisulo. Okay, the habitat is dirty. Call the keeper. Keeper! Do your sacred keeper duty. Okay. Now that we've got the keeper on that so that the lion habitat is going to get nice and clean, um, we need to make sure the peafowls and the... Oh my god. And the, uh... Flamingos get cleaned up because look at this nastiness! Look at this guy thing! All those red marks, those are poops. Those are friggin' poops. They're everywhere. Some of these habitats are just nasty right now. Oh my goodness. And my boyfriend is trying to call me. Hello, all the distractions. <laughs> okay. So, what we're gonna do here, my loves, is we are going to figure out which species to put in in this area. And that will be the main focus of this part. Oh yeah, I was trying to get a camel. Let's see. Because I bought new tigers because my current ones are going to pass away from old age before very long. And, let's see, I got some orangutans, I've got a bunch of monkeys. Capuchin monkeys. I have a cheetah ready to go. I got some rhinos. We have some mandrills. I have a new male Nile monitor waiting. I have okapi. Yeah, let's put in the okapi over here. That makes sense. And then we've got chimps and some lemurs, because yeah, I got a couple of gold-ranked lemurs that I didn't have before. And then I also got a male gorilla. And... Let's see if they have... Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, did I get any camels? No, I did not get any camels. Okay, let's grab the camels real quick. Let's grab you. Because your genetics aren't horrendous, thankfully. And yours are okay. So, now we've got camels. Which is lovely. And I also want Baird's tapers. If we can grab a couple that are not bad. Okay, your size is tiny, but your fertility, longevity, and immunity are really good. Let's see. Yeah, let's get this taper and this one. Because that is pretty expensive compared to the one from this person, but that taper is not that great. So, and I don't want any of the ones that don't even have a star or anything next to them. So, let's see. Because I want to build a South American area. 
But let's see, yeah, let's put in the Okapis because they've been waiting for absolutely forever to go in to the zoo. So let's build their house, shall we? I vote yes. Okay. Let's put that in this corner. Come on. There we go. Okay. Hum. I love the music. The music is so soothing. Okay. I'm going to make it go around this thing. Why can't it go there? There we go. That's better. Oh, I need to pull this out a smidge. There we go. And we'll put this right there. Good, 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 good. Yes, precious, yes! <laughs> Oh god, I'm in a weird mood right now, so don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me! Okay, and this is not going to be minded by the guests like at all, really. Because of the fact that it is clean energy. And the guests don't mind looking at the clean energy stuff for some reason. I mean, personally, I would find it a little odd to just have a random uh, solar panel there, but hey, you do you guys, you do you. Okay, let's make this go out all the way here. There we go. And Pearl and Palladia are having a battle on the floor, so if you hear random strange noises, blame them. <laughs> oh dear. They are my two of my uh, kitties and they are sisters who look almost identical almost but not quite okay come on there we go come on no let me put it in ah! <laughs> I'm gonna lose my marbles Oh god. There we go. Okay, we're good now. I think. Let's make it as long as it'll go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, darlings. So this habitat's going to be relatively large, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty big. Because there's going to be two to three Okapis in here. There's only going to be three when they inevitably breed. I say inevitably because I have very good luck with that and I trust that they will make babies for me. As far as I know, I didn't accidentally get any with zero fertility. That would freaking suck if I had. Because <laughs> uh. from what I understand, Okapis aren't very easy to breed in captivity, but I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong about that. There we go. Okay, now we've got a gate. Excellent. They are very shy, though. That much I do know. 4.7 miles squared. Cool. Okay. Oh, copies. Okay. Okay, these are going to be one-way glass. And then I have discovered a new trick to make it look nicer. You do the curved barrier top, and you make it so the window's height at the top is a lot shorter. See, now the guests can see in through the top better. If it actually said that. I'm not sure if it did. Let's see. No, it didn't quite go as far as I wanted. There we go. That's better. See, now it's a little tiny bit of log and it just looks nice. And it's not quite so much in the way. If I remember to, off camera, I will fix it so that all of them are that way. Hopefully I'll remember. I am not making any guarantees, though. <laughs> I'm not making any guarantees. 
curved barrier top. Minimum height. Did it not do the minimum height there? Why did it undo that? That's so strange. There. Now it saved it. Okay. Because the Okapis need it so that they have just a little bit of um, stuff shown. Let's see. The guests don't mind looking at that, but I'm going to hide it anyway. Let's see. Walls. Oh yeah, we got some more research done as well off camera. Let's see here. I don't want the bamboo right over here. We'll put that in the South American area once I build that. Because unfortunately, but I don't know, it's, it is what it is. One of the animals from South America, the Galapagos giant tortoise, is already in the zoo. And therefore, I can't add it into the South American area because it's already kind of in its own spot by the other tortoises. You want out of the room, Palladia? Well, too bad. You gotta wait until I'm done, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fuzzball, but you gotta be patient. Okay. Props. General. S. T. That's a large A. There's a normal A. Normal F. Staff. Perfect. Okay. I like putting in stuff like that. It, it makes it seem more realistic to me. Because over here, I also added in these buildings. This is the South American variant that came by default of the uh, staff centers where the staff members go to just chill. These two are right here. And then I made and decorated the keeper huts that I put next to them. Because over here, up in this general area, is going to be like it's going to go out and be the South American animals. And then over here is going to be the great apes and mandrills. And then I think the monkeys are going to be in the middle. Lol. <laughs> because why not? Why not? Alright, now let's make Okapi land look nicer. I feel like decorating it, but I don't really know with what, to be precise. I can put that there. Let's see, I can put this up here. Or I could put this one. Yeah, that one makes more sense for the Okapis, I believe. Okay. And then we're going to be putting in the educational signs in these. Let's see. Perfect. Now, facilities. Viewing devices. Education board. I'm going to make it a little fiddly. I'm sorry about that, but I've got to get it right. I'm going to put it right there. Okay. And I'm going to put this right there. Okay. And over here, I'm going to put that and I'm going to put this right here. Okay, this one is going to be talking about the bee population decline. And this one is going to be all about deforestation. Because deforestation is a problem that Okapis have to deal with. So it makes sense for me to put that in near their habitat. Okay, those educational speakers will go in for the Okapis. Okay. Now. Where are the little angels? Okay, yeah, I don't need the bird's tapers up anymore. I think I already... I'm 90% sure I already got some. <laughs> if I didn't, I'm sorry. 
I'm pretty sure I did though. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, I'm not crazy. I'm not completely crazy. That's good. But yeah, and then after the Okapis, I'm going to put in the camels over here. And then after that, we'll put in all of the um, South American animals and then the great apes or vice versa. Probably vice versa. Okay. Now, where are my lovely Okapis? And we'll figure out where to put the rhinos as well. We'll put them somewhere. We'll put them somewhere. Okay, your genetics aren't bad. Alright, where's the nearest quarantine? I'm looking around. I think the nearest quarantine yeah, is over here. Go on in there. Oopsies! Come on. Let's pull it up so that we can find the next Okapi. Okay, Musa. Ooh, your fertility is terrible, but that's okay. We still love you. And you're still capable of making babies. It's just going to be more of a challenge. And I am up for the challenge, so that's okay. Yeah, I figured you were male once I saw your name, little guy. But yeah, we will be releasing him to the wild, most likely. Or putting him up for trade. I might put him up for trade. Oh god, the vets are having to be called for diseased animals! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. The time has come, everybody. Okay, and this challenge is finished. But the time has come for Eush to pass away. He was a very good tiger. Not genetically speaking, he was okay. But as far as, like, just being a tiger, he was a great tiger. Oh, God, he's beautiful. Rest in peace, friend. Rest in peace. Oh. This is freaking heartbreaking! Oh, God, why? Oh. Wow. I love this. Tigers! Z, 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 z. <laughs> oh no. How are you doing, miss? Wow. She is old. She gonna die any second now, too. Great. Ayush has died. Oh. Oh no! One of my African wild dogs just died, too. Why did it bring me to the pangolin? The pangolin is about to mate. Okay. Oh no! Two of the wild dogs died. Oh god. Well, we added in more off camera. Ow! Pearl, don't chew my finger. <laughs> I don't know why she's being such a brat today. But she's being an absolute brat today. Okay, you are the current alpha female. You're going to live a while, it looks like, and you're monogamous with the Kong here. Let's see, Ziad. Let's see, I want the younger ones to start breeding, but I really don't want to just sell or rehome any of the um, wild dogs because I feel like that's mean. Let's see... Who else died? Okay, you're a pup. You're one of the new ones. Okay, you died. And she died. Okay. Lots of death already, jeez! Chang Chang! Make baby Chang Changs! Yay, baby Chang Changs. Baby Chang Changs? Yay, we're gonna have baby Chang Chang. Awesome. Otherwise known as Chinese pangolins, but that one's name is Chang Chang. <laughs> oh, good. Anyway, moving along. Okay, so... 
Oh, one of the uh, flamingos is about to grow up. That's good. Let me check my work zones here. Left of entrance. Okay, yeah, the copies weren't added yet. And then, yeah, I'll figure out somewhere else to put, like, I think the camels and the rhinos can go over here eventually. We'll deal with them later. But this is going to be the last habitat for this work zone. And after that, we're going to start putting in the uh, thingamajigs, the apes and mandrills. We'll go over there. Okay. So, where are the okapis? Are they in quarantine yet? Let's see if they've poofed from this list. Oh, come on, unpause. Here you go. I hear my flamingos. Okay, yeah, the okapis are no longer on the list, which means that the little angels are in quarantine now. Good. Okay, while they're in quarantine, let's fix up their habitat, shall we? I vote yes. What are you doing, Pearl? Are you battling? Yes, she's battling her sister again. Oh god, one of the flamingos just made babies again. Okay, even though it's going to slow down the quarantining process, I need to pause the game here so that I can put this stuff in and then we will deal with all those notifications in a bit. Because we just got a bunch of notifications that we've got to deal with. Amal is about to grow up. Okay. That is good. That is very, very good. Okay, here we go. Hello, Pearl scratching the back of my chair. Actually, no, that's Palladia. Sorry. Sorry, Pearl. I did not mean to falsely accuse you. Okay, now for some short grass here. Because they need mostly long grass, if I recall rightly. And then we'll put in the soil. In the middle of the habitat. I like putting in the heavy soil now because I noticed that it looks better than the light soil to me. Because see, the light soil looks like it's all cracked and weird. But I like the heavy soil better because it looks more smooth and nice. I don't know. I just like the aesthetic of it better now that I've taken a closer look at it and seen what it looks like. Okay, time to deal with the notifications really quick. Brazilian wandering spider. We know more about that. Oh god, we have an active disease! No! My children! My darlings! Oh god, she's about to give birth and she's sick? That's bad. That's bad, guys. That's bad. Call the vet! Call the vet! She's about to have babies! Okay. And you just grew up. Aw, you're cute. Let's see how much it wants for you for the wild. 18? That's Diddly Squat! Let's put you in the Trade Center. Let's see if I can get at least 25 out of you, buddy. Okay. Now, trade. Do do do. Where'd he go? Wait, I missed him. He was on the last one. <laughs> there he is. Let's trade you for 25. Boop. He's actually a pretty good gazelle, so hopefully he'll go quickly to a new home where he will be dearly beloved. Now let's see if they have any female gorillas I can afford right now. Oh god! Terrible! Oh boy. She's gone already. Okay. 
I'll just keep that open on the gorillas because we need to get some female gorillas for our great ape area. Okay, now for the okapis. Let's unpause. Oh yeah, I need to build them a shelter, of course. I almost forgot! That would have been bad. Let's stick it in the middle here. I'm getting kind of bored of sticking them on the sides here because I've been doing that a lot in my sandbox zoos. Let's see, what kind of shelters would make the most sense for this area? Okay, concrete one there. Uh, just a plain African one there. Brick one there. What did I put over? Th okay, I put in a um, Asian one over there. So yeah, I can put in whatever the hay I want. I'm gonna put a brick one. Because I like that idea. Okay. Okay, one quarantine past message. Ooh, the Komodos are about to mate. Okay, two quarantine past messages. Okay. Now, arches. I know, Pally. It's a true horror that you're stuck in here with your mother. <laughs> wall pieces. How about all? Because I feel like there's a brick piece that's circular because I remember using that in the elephant area. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It would look weird on this though, sadly. Hmm. That's a shame because it looks cool. I like it. But it wouldn't work on this, so we're not going to use it. Instead... Let's see, video copies. Is there a rounded version of that? Or do I just need the brick? I think I just need this brick. We'll do that. That's fine. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, that looks so boring, so let's put on... <laughs> let's put on a chimney. Yes, that makes perfect sense. No, what we're going to do, though, is put on a decoration. That would look strange, so we're not gonna put that one. Oh my god, it's got a cat and a mouse on it. <laughs> we're putting that. Okay. And let's see, I swear there was an air conditioner that you could put on it. Where'd that go? Or is that under wall decorations? I don't know. Wall decorative trim. That kind of looks like an Okapi. That's a rhino. <laughs> Look out, pal. Good girl. Okay, yeah, no. Ooh, yeah, let's put this all the way around. If it'll let me. I think it'll let me. Oh, that's interesting that this is climbable. Okay, that looks weird. Let's put that right there. Let's just put this on the front here, like that. That's arctic. That wouldn't look very good. What are you doing, cat? My god. Don't commit murder, please, fuzzball. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, here's the air conditioner I was talking about. And then an outlet. And a switch. And then there's chains over there, which we don't need. Corrugated sheets of metal. We don't need that either. But we can just say that this is the area where the okapis are put when it is too hot out or it's raining really bad or stuff like that. 
Okay. I love this new South American decor, by the way. It looks so nice. And yes, I know this is from the South America pack, but we're putting it on our African thingy as well, because we can. And I want to. And that is the only excuse I need. <laughs> okay, that's a gorilla, a lion, monkey. It's African bamboo stuff. Let's put that mask on there. And the back of this is going to be covered in plants and stuff, so it doesn't matter. Okay, filters. Continent. Africa. Biome. Tropical. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take that tag off for the second here. So that I can put in the rocks. That rock is too tiny. That rock is also too tiny. Okay. Let's see, cladding rock. That, oh dear, I didn't mean to put it down that far. Okay. Let's, I'll leave the mossy ones for the South America because I feel like they look better for that. Now, let's go continent Africa. Perfect, 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 perfect. Banana palm. Banana palm. Banana palm. More banana palm. And fern. And more fern. And a third fern. And a Batman symbol. <laughs> and if you got that reference, you are beyond amazing. Just for the rec just for the record. Especially because I'm not even sure where that reference came from anymore. When I was in grade school, people used it so often that it just kind of stuck in my brain permanently. And now I don't remember where it came from. At all. Other than people in grade school. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Oops. It's clipping through the rock. That was awkward. Wait a minute. They're all part of the friggin' group? Oops. Oh well. They're all part of that shelter now. Um, that's not what I intended. Why are you doing that and sticking the tree under the ground so far? To make it look like thick bush matter. That's why. So don't worry guys, I'm not completely losing my mind. Ugh. There we go, because they live in the thick rainforest, so I want it to look like it, you know? It makes sense to me. There we go. Let's save this really, really quick, so that we lose no progress. also put in the strangler figs, but I don't really wanna. Okay, the terramund tree. I know, Palladia. Life is very rough when you're small and hairy. And have no thumbs. Because you're a cat! One nice thing about the Okapis versus some of the other animals in the game is that because they are the kind of species they are, they walk around on the ground exclusively, they're not arboreal or anything, I can put in as many trees as I want all over the friggin' place, 
and not have to worry about them using the trees to escape. Because when I was building a habitat for monkeys off camera on my own time earlier, I was having one heck of a time making sure the trees weren't too close to the edge. Because the trees were often getting too close to the edge. But here I can just go willy-nilly putting all the trees! All the trees, precious, yes! Now they live in a proper forest. Heck yes. That's awesome. And this thing sticks out like a sore thumb among all this, but that's okay. <gasps> we'll put some vines on it. Can I put some vines on it? I wonder if the Okapis can even get in there if I do, though. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, now, habitat. They should be able to. Okapi. Okay. Let's go in here. Oopsies! And put in some nice hay! Because we need us some hay! <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to put their food trough right here. So that the guests can watch them eat. And be entertained by them eating. Okay, so put that there. This plant screen we'll put over... Right there. They like that for privacy reasons, from what I understand. Okay, we'll put that right by the tree. I want to recolor it, though. Let's make it gold. Ooh, that's pretty. And green. Make it a lighter green. Eh. Let's just make the whole thing gold. Because, pff, why not? Why not? Okay, and then let's put in a sprinkler. Let's put that in down over here-ish. So they can really enjoy it. And now, of course, we have to give them water. Cannot let them get dehydrated now. And that's all they like. Wow, they are boring. <laughs> At least that's all they like that I have unlocked. Let me put it that way. I'll put it that way. Okay, I want to put something else on that roof. Something that makes it look greener, more tropical. Construction. Roofs. Hmm. Maybe if I turn this around? Why can't I turn this around? That's so strange. I can't turn it. I'm pressing Z to turn it, but it's not turning. Oh well. That's okay. Amal, you are a pretty good flamingo, except that your longevity is crap. Your immunity's decent, though. Let's see how much I would get for you from sending you to the wild. Only ten! Oh well. Have fun! Oh no! Okay, they've passed quarantine, so that's a plus. Let's put them in their house! Okapi! Okapi, okapi, okapis! It's so pretty and floral and stuff. I don't even know the words. I love how the freaking trees are under the ground. It's great. Ooh, vet research is complete. For the pygmy hippopotamus. Nice. Has the Okapi shown up on this list yet? I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, one of my tree frogs had offspring. Hooray! I think maybe they have to actually be in the habitat before it'll count. 
Hurry up! Hurry up, hurry up, and get in there! Ooh, another flamingo is about to mature. Yay, we know everything we need to know about the bears. Good, good, good. <gasps> Uma! Oh no, she died. Oh, Uma. Your time has come, my love. Oh god. Oh, jeez. She was 18, though. That's pretty old. Good. I'm sorry, Umayama. Rest in peace, my love. Okay, so it's time to put in the new female cheetah. So that she can mate with the male. Let's go over here. Here she is. Here's the little beauty. Let's move her into quarantine. Yeah, let's have it face that way. Where's the nearest quarantine? Right here. What do you mean that's invalid? Quarantine one. Go into quarantine. Thank you! <laughs> oh my god! Stop not listening to me! Start listening to me! There we go. That's better. That makes more sense. Okay, our baby aardvark is about to mature. And we learned a little bit about the Mexican red knee tarantula. So let's go over here and see what the tarantula's house can look like now. There we go. Now it's got a little leaf litter. That'll make it happier. Okay, now let's go check on those acopies. Where are my darlings? Ooh, a new guest has arrived. Ooh, I'm here now. Hi, friend! I've greeted the maximum number of players today. Dag damn it! Oh well. Where's me? I'm staring at the herd animals. Our time at the bongo's habitat was okay. Well, that's great. It's good. Aww. Yay, the Okapis arrived! Uh oh, can they not get into the hard shelter? Apparently not, that's awkward. Let me fix it. I guarantee you it's these strangler figs. There we go. What the hell? Pardon my language there for those of you who aren't used to that, but... What? <gasps> okay, there we go. Phew. Oh. They need a lot more soil and a lot less long grass. Okay. I can do that, I guess. If I must. Because I say so. Okay, nobody's even gonna see this corner anyway. They can handle a bit of rock as well, it looks like. But I'd rather put in soil than rock, because I think it looks nicer and makes more sense for this desert area. Okay, yeah, there's lots of long grass over here. And I completely forgot, last part, to check on the pangolins' happiness to make sure that they were good with how much um, terrain and stuff they had. Oh good, it's a little less than half, or twice rather, the size that it should be. LESS THAN HALF THE SIZE IT SHOULD BE, YES! Oh god. Okay, where are my angels? They are hungry and expecting offspring. Hi, darling. Okay. Oh, man, there's too much grass and not enough soil. Poop. Okay, I'll fix that. Dun, 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 dun,
Okay, we're good on short grass. Now we need to get rid of some of the long grass. There we go. <laughs> now they're happier. Okay, good. At least it didn't affect their ability to breed with each other. That's a plus. Okay, where's the heck is their keeper? Keeper! They're hungry. Now, where's Mama here? Mama needs love. What was I gonna look at? Oh my god, her longevity and fertility are terrible. Oops. <laughs> oh well. That's okay. Still love her anyway. Okay, now, let's check on the Okapis. Since it's their part this time. Ooh, they're running around. Yeah, they look happy. Okay, another flamingo's gonna grow up soon. I love Okapis. They're such strange and wonderful creatures. I wish our local zoo had Okapis, but it doesn't. Salman! You need to grow up so I can make you leave. Put you out in the wild where you belong. Oh my god, all my peafowl are getting sick. That's bad. That is not good, everyone. That is not friggin' good. Okay, you've grown up now officially? Great. Have fun in the wild! Give me 7cc! <laughs> That's like nothing! Wah! Oh well. That's okay. Let's get a nice close-up of the Okapis here. Where are they? Ramilla! There you are, honey. I clicked on the plant and not the animal. Brilliant! 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, there she and her boyfriend are. Is he little? For crying out loud! <laughs> I clicked on the rock. His size is 67%. Hers is 75, though, so that might be why. Okay. Wow, she's cool. Look at that. They're related to giraffes, for those who don't know. Even though they have these zebra-like stripes. Aw, oh, she's going to take a dump on the sprinkler. Or no, she's going to lay down and sleep. Okay, that works. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I will see you all in the next one. Have fun over on the end screen as we enjoy this gloriously bizarre creature of the Okapi. Alright, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Raylunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 